we have some testifiers that the Lord God has done a great thing in their lives and they want to come and tell us. So as they are coming out, keep clapping for them. Bro Ajeri. Hallelujah. Please, I want to beg for your time this morning. Mama, I want to beg for time this morning. I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, from the inception of this uh, church, this is my first time of standing before you here this morning to share testimony. I just, I just want to beg of your time this morning, please. It's going to take time. I just want to drop a testimony here this morning. It's just a testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First of all, before I give the testimony, I would like to sing this song to back it up. Because God has really done so much for me and my family. I don't just know, but... I'm the one you turn this life around. I'm the one your grace and mercy found. I'm the one you turn his life in. I have returned to give you all the praise. Jesus, may we pray now. Jesus, may we pray now. Jesus, may we I have returned to give you all the praise. Yes, I Entered into a lion's mouth and came out alive. You will not really understand. God has done so much for me. First time, first time in my in my life that I met my wife, I've never seen her complain of headache. 
I've never seen her complain of headache of any kind. But just of sudden, just like that, I was away to Asaba State. I was away to Lagos State. From Lagos, I connect to Enugu. From Enugu, I connect to Delta State. And that was when I got a call from her. I now say, I'm not feeling fine. I'm in a, a Sokro Regional Hospital. I was thinking it's a normal thing as usual. I thought it's a normal thing as usual. I never, I never, I never take it serious at all. I never take it serious. I said, okay, no problem. Just let them check you. So at the end of the day, I had a call from a mathologist um, that uh, my wife's condition now is critical, that uh, they cannot handle it in a Sokro General Hospital. That they're going to refer her to National Hospital. I said, there's no problem. Go on with it. So she was referred to National Hospital. And um, a day after that, I returned back from Delta State. So already there was a note written by the doctor that any time I comes around that they should hand over the note to me. When I saw the note, he said I should meet them in their, in their office, as in, in their clinic. I got there and I met the doctor. He said, am I uh, a Jerry? I said, yes, I'm a Jerry. He said, are you husband of uh, Grace? I said, yes, I'm a husband. It's okay. Where do you work? I said, why are you asking me where do I work? Does that really mean anything? He said, I don't want to know where I'm working so that they will know how, how they will run the test and some other things. I said, anything you just have to do to save our life, just go ahead and do it. Don't ask me where I'm working. And along the line, the team of the doctors, they now called me aside and said, my wife's case is very critical and there's some drugs they will have to order in abroad for them to bring it. And at the same time, they will also contact um, Teaching Hospital, which is um, uh, Gwabwanda Teaching Hospital. And, um, and after that, then the treatment will continue. So I was shocked when they called me and said, uh, right now, the money I will have to drop is six million. And I look, my, I look at myself and I look, I look at my account. I said, ah, six million, how? And I was just asking God this question. He said, God, is it how you want to end my life? Where will I get this amount of money from? Where will I get it from? Where will I get it from? I, at that time, I was devastated. I was flabbergasted. I don't even know myself at all. I don't even know myself. I was moving elta skelta, moving from one place to another. I was asking God for mercy. I don't just know. And I now told them, they said, oh, first of all, dropped 700,000 naira so that they would not start with our platelet because our platelet was very low. Our platelet was supposed to be, was supposed to be um, 37, and from what they saw, it, was, it dropped to 4. That any moment from now, if she will not take the platelet, any moment from now, anything can happen to her. So I was okay, okay, no problem, I will pay for the platelet. And I went to my bank and I withdrew the 700k and hand over to them, so they were able to get platelet that night. They were able to get that platelet that night. So after the platelet, so we were referred to echo room. Now there's something that they want to check in her heart to see if there's disease in her heart and some other things. So she was being carried to the echo room and she was checked and nothing was discovered. Nothing of that nature was discovered in her. So after that, then I said they will have to run uh, this bone marrow aspiration on her here. So they operated her, her, here, her uh, right side of her here, here, and one of her bone was being removed from that place, and they, they went for the surgeries and some other things. So she was, in, she, was on, she was seriously in pain, seriously in pain. So after that again, they said her blood, her blood has dropped. <laughs> My wife, I think so far now she has collected about 14 pounds of blood. She will collect three pounds of blood. No, 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 no. It won't get to two or three hours. Everything will drop to zero. I was like, ah, where, do, where, where those things are coming from? Why? Why? So I was asking God. I said, God, is there anywhere I've offended you? If I've offended you, please temper justice with mercy. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Because I, I checked very well. I have not offended anybody. 
I've not offended my colleagues. I've not offended my friends. I've not offended anybody. So how come this to me? So I was just asking God a lot of questions. But at the end of the day, God kept pushing. God kept pushing. God kept pushing on. Out of the six million they asked us to pay, I was able to pay 4.3 million. I was able to pay 4.3 million and they commenced the treatment immediately. She started recovering. She started recovering now. I just want you this morning to help me thank this God Almighty. And most especially, I want you to thank our father, our mama here. Sometime I will call mama and say, Mama, huh, your daughter is in the hospital again. He said, My son, don't worry. He said, Nothing will happen to her. You know, there is this condition you will find yourself. And that time you need, you need someone, you need someone to speak a word in your life. Maybe at, the, at that particular time, and a right word came into your life. And he entered inside you and he healed, he healed all kinds of things in your, in, your, in your life. And mommy called me and said, Don't worry. He said, Don't worry. Everything is going to be over. And anytime time she tells me that, I feel, this, I feel this courage inside of me. I feel this courage inside of me. And I called Daddy. I said, Daddy, this is what I'm going through. He said, ah, you are still in the hospital. I said, yes, Daddy, I'm still in the hospital. And this is what they said. And this is, this is how far we've gone. He said, don't worry. He said, nothing will happen to her. Even when she told me, when my wife turned, he looked at me, he said, he said, he said, dear. I said, yes, what is that? He said, please, I will want you to take care of my daughter very well for me. I said, ah, what do you mean by that? And as God we have it, um, Bro Solomon, who is the protocol to daddy here, brought anoint, anointing oil that daddy has already blessed from the altar, and he now brought it to my wife. So at that night, he left the, he left the hospital. I poured the anointing oil on my hand. I was trying to rub it so that I can rub it on her body. When I saw my hand, I saw the picture of my wife on my palms. When I saw the picture, I saw green hair, and I saw 100 years attached to her. And I was, and I was telling her, I said, no, you say you will die, but I'm not seeing you die from now to 100 years coming. I'm seeing great hair. You can't, you can't die. You can't die. You can't die. You can't die. And each time, every Sunday like this, that daddy will climb the altar, or mommy will climb the altar like this and preach, I will quickly rush and get data for her, and I will now, I will now tune it for her. I say, oh yeah, start watch any prayer. He said, just be saying amen, just be saying amen, and that is how she keeps saying amen. My wife is this woman that she she's not strong with prayer like that. Sometimes I will ask her, and say, let us pray. Our phone will be our phone will be in her hand. She will be operating it, and we'll be praying. She will be operating it. But since this, since this problem. She is not even speak, she's speaking tongues now. She's speaking tongues. She's speaking tongues now. Last week I was called again that uh, he went for medical checkup again, and I I was called upon that uh, a platelet is dropped, and I was like, ah, platelet again? What what is happening? Your platelet has dropped again. What is happening? I said, so, there's no problem. If God cannot do it this time around, then anything he wants to do with you, let him go on and do it. Three days ago, she went to the hospital and her platelet was checked. Instead of that four the cord, her platelet increased from that four to 51%. <laughs> I don't know how God did it. I don't know how God did it. Because I was supposed to pay another 700,000 naira, which is on Monday, tomorrow. I don't know. And what they are looking inside of her was just 20, 25, 25 platelet, 25% of platelet. But now it has increased to 51. I don't know how God did it. I don't know how God did it. And doctor, because people handling a case, they, are not, they, they don't call them doctor, they call them pathologist. And in Asokoro, they don't have matology. The only person, the only matology they have is handling a lot of cases. So she could not, she could not cover everybody. But in uh, National Speedway, it was so, so plus, And they now called me, they say, now the platelet has canceled that what they need now is blood. Or which I call Blossom again and say, please, I need someone to donate blood for my wife for translation so that she can.
continue our chemo on Monday. You know, say, so you will call uh, Pastor Nensha. And when Pastor Nensha came, they said our blood was not matched with our own. So we have to call uh, Bro Ekele again. So when Ekele came, our blood was cross matched and it was matched with our own. So tomorrow he's coming down to the hospital to donate the blood so that they can give it to her for her to be able to continue her chemo. I just want to thank this God Almighty for everything he has done. God has really done a lot of things for me. One of our, one, one of our, one of our, uh, our tablet is 15,000 naira. And inside that 15,000 naira, we have to buy 22 of them. And inside that 22, the very day I went, I went and got the, uh, the, the, play, uh, the, 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 this in the tablet, the tablet got missing. We don't know how come. Just in the hospital, got missing. We don't know how come. And they were to, they were to, they were to carry, out, they were to carry out surgery on her on that very day. We were looking for the tablet everywhere. We could not find it. How come? Then one of the doctors now came to me, say, "Ha, here they do steal uh, people's drugs. So that if I not stand where these drugs don't go, that I have to pay another money." I said, "Me, pay another money. Do you know how much I bought that drugs? Do you know how much one of them was sold? And you are telling me that I will have to pay for another? No, it can't happen." And that's where I left the office there. Then I now went to the back of the hospital and I started praying. Only for me to come back. They now say the drugs was seen in another person's bag. So they went in search of it and he uh, were able to recover the drugs. We were able to recover the drugs and that is how they conduct the surgery on her on that very day. I just want to thank this God. I just want to thank this God for everything. And also thank you again for your prayers. Thank you for your support. Thank you for everything. I'm not here, but I've received your message and I've seen everything you have been doing for me and my family. I just want God Almighty in heaven to bless you beyond your expectation this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For this you have done for me and my family, I only have a prayer point for you. I have a prayer point for you. And this, this are my prayer for you this morning. Henceforth, henceforth, because of this you have done, to me and my family, your leg will not know road to hospital. In the mighty name of Jesus, your children will not be admitted in the hospital. In the mighty name of Jesus, your wife will not know road to hospital. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your husband will never know road to hospital. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. 